I'll tell you the thing that is a real head scratcher to me. First of all, kudos to wrestle kingdom and, 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 and all of new Japan for being able to pull that off. But I believe this will be the first time wrestle kingdom hasn't been on fight in a long, long time. I mean, back when they first did the English version, when JR with JR doing commentary, which may have been, I don't know, almost 10 years ago, they've always been on fight. This one will not be, that feels like a missed opportunity. For Why New is Japan that? And fight. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's a business decision from new Japan. I know they have their own streaming service, new Japan world. Maybe that's the thinking is let's drive traffic there. But as someone who's actually been to a wrestle kingdom and certainly watched many of them from home, I always watched it on fight and now it's not there. I wonder how many fans are going to, well, I, I guess it's not happening this year. Maybe it's not on pay-per-view this year. If you've got a star like Sasha Banks to me, you would think, man, we got to get that on fight. So it's not on fight with is fight pay-per-view traditionally. Uh, yes, but through an app. So it's not just, yeah. it's not like direct yeah. TV and, and dish network. Yeah. Now they can do that. I mean, we did that for your show and, and fight was yeah. sort of the liaison to do it, but more often will they sell out, will they sell out the soak dog at all? I don't know what the ticket sales are for this one, but yes, historically they've sold it out. I mean, so, to the point where they even started doing two night events, much like WrestleMania and, uh, that, oh, didn't, wow. that didn't sell as well, but, uh, years ago it sold crazy And this year, man, there's some really big matches on that card. Uh, let's actually, maybe Steve can pull that up for us because wrestle kingdom 17 is, is like the, the Japanese WrestleMania, if you will. And. I think the match that everybody's talking about is JY and Okada or Will Ospreay and Kenny Omega. Uh, but we're also going to see uh, Carl Anderson versus Tama Tonga. Uh, Muda is going to be on the show teaming with Tanahashi. Uh, and they're wow. going to be taking on some old friends of, uh, of Manny's, uh, or I'm sorry, Andrade's, uh, FTR will be there, uh, representing, uh, AEW as well. And Zack Sabre Jr. is on the show. So there's a lot of talent. It's a loaded show and yeah, we got. Oh, we got wow. Sasha Banks right in the middle of it, man. Yeah. Um, and who is, um, Sasha, uh, wrestling. I don't think they've actually made an announcement of what she's doing yet. Just that she will be there. Yeah. So. Wow. Well, I'm glad to see the Americans, uh, have, have, have a heavy presence because I, for me personally, it makes it better. Um, those Japanese kids are very talented boy. I mean, I'm, and they're, and you know, in the old days, they used to be really tough. I'm assuming well, the most of them are now too. So, oh yeah, there's the easier ways to make a living in wrestling in Japan. <laughs> Certainly there was in the eighties, but, um, I'm sure it's calmed down a little bit now, but it used to be very competitive. It's the guys like, like Hanson and Brody, man, they went over there and it was, <laughs> they didn't budge. Nobody sold anything for anybody. That wasn't really my cup of tea. As a matter of fact, you know, the story. Probably the greatest of of all time was a guy who called me and said they'd want you in Tokyo and they, they want to switch your belt. We told them no, so we're sending a Harley with you. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so Harley Harley had to stand out there with the ring for an hour. He kept looking at me and said, This is bullshit. Can't you, can't you defend yourself against it? Just the rude. I said no. <laughs> I can't. We have 15 minutes, 20 more suplexes. I'll be ready to go up a beer. <laughs> I love it. I'll take you to the bathhouse, Harley. Calm down. <laughs> My goodness. Well, shout out to your man, Muda. This will be his Can you last. imagine if I ever got you over there? I'm telling you, you'd love not, it. You know my wife would not let me go. I'm not allowed to go. I'm not allowed to go anywhere with you. You know that. Oh, no. It's a, it's a, she doesn't have to say it, but I know. It's it's an unofficial ban. I think you and I need to run in Tokyo. Shinjuku, that's the area we love. Forget about, forget about Ropungi. We want the red carpet. <laughs> this, uh, they're going to be rolling out the red carpet for Muto. This will be his last new Japan match. Uh, let's talk about those two sort of, uh, headline matches. Okada is going to be challenging Jay white for the, uh, new Japan world championship. Uh, is Jay white on your radar? Have you, have you seen much of his stuff? I, I have not. Uh, how old is Okada now? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I think he's mid thirties. Let me take a look here. Yeah. He's considered the top star, right? Yeah. He's 35. Yeah, and Omega was would be considered our top star, right? Omega will be challenging Will Ospreay for the United States Championship. This is Omega's return uh, to New Japan, and, and and obviously that's a 
that's a home run for them. I mean, to have Omega and Okada in consecutive matches on top, it should be a big show. But the other guy I wanted to ask about the guy that maybe a lot of people consider to be one of, if not the best wrestler in the world, Will Ospreay. He's just 29 years old. Is he on your radar yet? I haven't seen him. I can't wait for you to see what, what, what show, what show is he on? What new Japan? I mean, he is, he's, he's not, he's not an AEW or anything. He's been on there a handful of times. Uh, he, he used to do some six man tags oh, yeah. with Aussie open. Yeah. I just haven't seen him and I, I'm, I feel bad now because I wish I could comment, but I have not seen him. 